talking with Austin about the season and as we approach the midway mark, how, how tight does the league become at this point in time, game in, game out, do you think, Mike? Well, I think everyone wants to win. And, uh, you know, some teams are playing really desperate. And the teams that are playing desperate and working hard and competing hard to find ways to win each and every night. And so that's how you have to be to survive. Is pretty, comes off as pretty happy-go-lucky, pun intended. But does, that, does he have like an underrated sort of leadership quality with this team? It's something that he said he wanted to start building. Well, I just think because he works. You know, anybody who works every day, doesn't matter what your image is. If you don't work, you don't come and put your work before your skill, you're, you're not leading anybody. And so the leadership isn't what you say, it's what you do and how hard you compete and how much detail you have in your game. And, and that's why when you look at a guy like Marlowe or you look at a guy like Tavares, that's what you see. It's not, you know, it's not that they're saying anything, they just do it. From the start of the year, how much have you noticed or have you noticed teams uh, defending the power play differently? Well, I think everybody does uh, things different, but if you want to look at what's going on with our power play, you don't have to look any further than us. Well, this is about us, not about the other team. And so let's just simplify, let's execute, let's have puck speed, let's have people at the net, let's get some pucks back, so let's win faceoffs. That's simple. We'll have the puck more and we'll have more success and be happier. What do you like about the dynamic of Matthews' line? Well, those guys, it uh, doesn't matter who I'm playing with right now, those guys are working. And when you got guys that work with you, you end up with a puck. And so well, we got to get everyone working at the same pace. But those guys have got energy right now. They're feeling good right now. And, uh, you know, whether they played with Johnny last night, the, their last game in the third, or whether they're playing with Matty, uh, they got some pop to them. Your four years as a head coach here, Mike, what have you seen from Morgan as his game has developed, evolved? Is it leg strength, shot? Uh, where does it go? Well, I think that, but I think the main thing is just his ability to play without the puck, and so he's so much better a defender that he has the puck way more, and he's got elite confidence. Obviously, he he can be active, he can skate, he's got an unbelievable sifter, real good shot, uh, but he's intelligent defensively and doesn't get himself in bad spots uh, like he used to, and that's the biggest change in his game. He's one of five defensemen in the league that are averaging a point a game right now. That would be the first time in a generation that more than one has averaged that. Is, is, it just is that at this time or is that at the end of at, the at season? At the end of the year, but, but, there, but okay. five of them are trending in that, in that way. It's 30 some odd games in. I'm, I'm just wondering, is it just the fact that scoring up or has the position changed? Well, it's, uh, you ask me the same question tomorrow when you find out where they're at at this time of the year. Like, I mean, one's an apple, one's an orange, so I can't compare the two. But what I would say is those guys are good players and they can really skate. Uh, you know, but I think the 82 games has a way of leveling things out. You know, I'm not certain on that for sure. Uh, you know, even like uh, right now, if you look, I think power plays are up. And yet, well, let's go to 82 games. Let's find out how that works. Uh, and everyone can skate, I can tell you that. Like, it's going fast. Uh, so that would be the biggest change. But I think teams defend way harder than they used to, too. The game's just better. I mean, or the game's different. I mean, if you like to flow and go and no checking, they probably don't like this game, but this game's really fast. There's mistakes because there's so much pressure. And I think that leads to scoring. Everything is with the sticks, and that guys can shoot the pill.